Hi, it's Hans at ahappierman.com. Today's topic is expect setbacks. I was just thinking about this. I was just watching my favorite team, the Green Bay Packers, play football yesterday. And uh, going into the game, they were 7-1, and one, and everybody had the high expectations. And they're looking like uh, world beaters. And then they went to play uh, San Diego, and they got, not San Diego, Los Angeles Chargers. It used to be San Diego Chargers. Anyway, they got beat, and they looked terrible. They, nothing, nothing went right. Everything went wrong. And it made me think, yeah, sometimes you got to expect frustrations and setbacks. So, you know, nobody really expected them to go 15 and one, right? That's pretty tough to do. Um, and I, I think sometimes you got to expect that you're not always going to do everything right all the time and that somebody is going to be well more well prepared than you and they're going to do better than you and you just kind of have to lump it and accept it and uh, move on it's kind of like the thought of you know i got my my book leave your wife and become a happier man with a three-step system and, and the idea was uh you know obviously if you get married you're probably thinking it's for the rest of your life and everything is going to work out wonderfully for the two of you as a couple but that's not the reality is it the reality is a lot of times it doesn't work out for whatever reason and you, you know i have my reasons that i lay out in the book and you should get that if you have any trouble at all with your marriage and you can learn a lot from my frustrations and my problems but and how I worked my way out of it but that was being married was an enormous enormous setback uh, and I'm working my way out of it and I've been so happy and it, but it, and I guess what I'm getting at here there was a time like a couple of years right before I met the woman who would be my wife uh, where, let's say, I was kind of on top of the world, and I didn't really know it. Uh, <coughs> it's just, in, in hindsight, looking back, everything was going so well at that time. I just thought, well, I'll add this girl into it, and it'll even be better. Well, it went the other way, right? It got worse and worse, and my life became just a kind of a living hell. And, uh... I had to make drastic, radical changes by leaving and moving on and getting divorced and dealing with all the aftermath of that and facing tremendous setbacks all the time. But, you know, I guess getting to it, you got to expect that on your way to the good life, you're going to get beaten down and beaten up and your blow is bloodied and somebody might uh, knock you down and give you a good beating. Certainly that happened to me. I've been knocked down and getting beaten. Now, not physically, but let's say emotionally, financially, spiritually, you know, everything. You question everything when your life goes wrong. Uh, but if you expect that life will be a series of up and downs, and, you're, and then as you're going down and life is just pounding on you unmercifully that life's arm is going to get tired enough for you to get up and escape and move on and get your life back on track. Isn't that basically what happens? That somebody, when you're getting beat up, they don't just continually beat you into a bloody mess until you're nothing there, but a pool of blood is there. Well, you, they stop and let you up and you scurry off and lick your wounds and don't get involved with that again and learn, 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 learn. And that's, you know, me. I uh, learned, you know, what types of people I like to deal with. I learned what types of people I want to avoid, what types of situations aren't really that good for me that are probably going to be turned into something really, really, really bad. You learn from that. You learn from those uh, frustrations and 
you, you got to learn to expect that there's going to be some problems and setbacks. And you'll find that the most successful people kind of build in these setbacks into their life. They're, they're not necessarily trying to fail, but they realize that there will be some failures, there will be some problems, and that if you did, but if you just keep persistently moving forward and adapting and making some, making some adjustments and keeping positive and not just saying, oh, woe is me, never, nothing is ever going to work. Well, the successful people will never say that, right? They'll always be uh, saying, yeah, ooh, that was really bad, but learn from it and we're kind of trying to move on. Like getting back to this Packer game. Yeah, I mean, everybody, they looked terrible. Ever, nothing was working right. My friends and I were texting, you know, after the game and everybody's kind of like, ah, it's only one loss. We didn't feel didn't feel that bad, right? Nobody was like so complaining about it because they've already won seven games. They'd only lost one, now they lost two. Well, it's still pretty darn good, right? They they were flat, things weren't working their way, the other team played better, there was all kinds of things going on. There's a lot of reasons why they didn't play as well as they we'd like them to play. Nobody was really that upset about it, right? That's kind of the key too. Is don't get too upset when things don't go exactly how you want them to go. And then, so, and then further, this is really the test: is don't get extremely upset when things go really wrong. Or at least, if you're going to be really upset, don't dwell on it forever. I had a video about how I would be so upset about dealing with my wife and ex-wife, I go to see the kids and help, help, help them with the homework or do something at, at the house. They were with their mother and, of course, my, my ex, so she'd be giving me just a tremendously hard time while I'm there trying to, you know, be the good dad. And I am a good dad. It's one of the things I'm most proud of is being a good dad and doing whatever he can for his kids, just like you are. Well, my wife would be giving me, or what ex would be giving me a hard time there in front of the kids, and I was just stoically kind of absorbing that, uh, trying not to let her get under my skin when I'm there, not getting all, uh, start getting into a screaming match right, right there. Well, that isn't good. But I would leave, you know, I'd get the homework done and leave, and go out to my car and uh, take off and scream and, and rage and pound on my steering wheel and and uh, vent vent my anger. I'm not saying you don't vent your anger. If you got if you're angry, you got to vent it. But I would do that, you know, out in the out in the street or on the drive back to my house and. Uh, I would let it go. It would be gone. Of course, I, you know, it wasn't totally forgotten because I knew I'd have to go back to that house again, help the kids again a different day, and deal with my ex a different time. But uh, I let it go. I knew it would be tough again the next time, but I let my anger out. And now I can move on with my life. I can start doing something different with that time. I'm not there now. I moved on. So give that idea some thought. Expect some setbacks. Expect some frustrations. It doesn't. It's not always going to be smooth sailing every moment of every day of your life. You'd like that, but sometimes life just you know has to vent itself out on you so expect that frustration expect some hard times but, but remain positive remain optimistic and know that you can uh, move on from that all for now